Hi. Welcome to our Infusion Flow class. This is a beginner's class and we're going to be looking at the concept of playing with opposites. So within life we always have a bit of yin and yang. Um, we always have oppositions kind of guiding us and keeping us in balance. Same with movement. We really want to embrace those oppositions of thinking up at the same time down and wide at the same time narrow in order to really ground and center us. So let's begin with the feet directly underneath the hips. So hip width, it's <laughs> hip width apart. Great, toes are facing forward, heels are back and if anything ever so slightly taking the heels out to the side a little bit so that the edges of your feet are parallel to if you're on your mat, uh, your mat or if you're in a room to the sides of the room. If you're out in nature like me, then you're just gonna have to go off your own wisdom there. Great. So let's just begin by feeling your feet into the ground. I want you to imagine, a little bit like tree pose in yoga, that your feet are pressing all the way down into the mat and or floor and or earth. And then from there, you wanna feel energy lifting up through the feet through the inner and outer arches, all the way up through the legs. This will engage the legs a little bit. It'll come up through the hips, all the way up to the spine, to the crown of the head, and there's this feeling of lifting up, while at the same time your feet are grounding and growing downwards. Beautiful. And then we want to have this little bit of expansion in the chest. We want to think that the two shoulders are moving away from each other and yet they're dropping back and down. So we're moving with this breadth across the front of the chest, but then dropping the shoulders back and down. So allow the hands to be loose to begin with. And on your next inhale, we're gonna raise the arms up overhead. So reach them high to the sky, and then just pause here, continue breathing naturally. Now what we want to think here is our feet pressing firmly down into the ground as our fingertips reach high to the sky. Take a deep inhale here. And then exhale, press the palms down towards the floor. Beautiful, a few more like this. Inhale, breathe the arms up, feeling those feet reaching down as you reach the arms up. Exhale, float the arms down. Beautiful, so this is the basic idea. You can start to be a little bit more expressive as you inhale. Maybe you like to relax the arms at the top, exhale them back down. One more like this. You're gonna inhale all the way up. Now, join the backs of your fingertips, backs of your hands, all the way down. Drop your chin towards your chest, roll vertebra by vertebra, all the way down to the floor. So your hands are touching the floor. Your knees may be uh, really bent, uh, your legs may be really bent, or you may start to work with a little bit of a straighter leg. Either way, fingertips are going to be on the ground. We're going to take a halfway lift. Lead with the head. Inhale to come forward. And then exhale, soften forward. Let's just try that again. Inhale, lengthen through the chin, neck, chest. So we're creating this lovely flat line with the chest and the back. And then exhale to come down. Press your feet firmly into the ground. Use your next inhale to roll vertebra by vertebra all the way up to standing. Chin will be the last thing to come up. Reach the hands up overhead. And then same thing, curl down as you exhale. Maybe a little bit of a draw of the belly in. Touch the fingertips down. Inhale, lift the chest more, either bent or straight legs. Exhale down, bend at the knees to roll vertebra by vertebra as you inhale all the way up. And then exhale, contract the belly, draw it in as you roll all the way down, exhaling fingertips to the floor, inhale to come forward. Exhale to come back down, roll up, push the mat away, push the floor away, inhaling. Exhale, just bring the hands back and down. Beautiful, now we're gonna work into the legs. We're gonna do what are called plies. Basically just bending the knees, warming up the knee joints and the ankle joints. We wanna work in opposition though. So keep your feet exactly where they are. Just bend your knees only as far that your heels don't come up. And also, I wanna make sure of this, we're only bending when we're doing what is called a demi-plie, so a half plie. So rather than like a gym kind of squat or ukatasana where we stick the butt out, we want to keep the buttocks, the tailbone dropping down 
and we're only bending as much as we can without lifting the heels, okay? So just stay down in your plie for a second. If you're really tight in the calves, you might feel a bit of a stretch down the back of the legs. Beautiful, then straighten back up. Good, let's just take that again, bend the knees. Now as you're down here, think of lengthening up to the crown of the head whilst you're pushing your feet down into the mat. It's gonna create this lovely long length through the spine. Now as you start to straighten the legs, I want you to push your feet down as you come up. You'll feel a little bit of resistance as you do that. Beautiful, so what we're gonna do now is add some arms. The arms are literally just gonna float out to the side. You can have them a little bit like bird's wings, or you might wanna muscle them up a little bit and make them a little angular. Completely up to you. You will use an inhale as we bend the knees, reach the arms out. Exhale as you press to stand. Another one like that. Inhale out. Exhale, stand. Good. Inhale out. Exhale, press back down. Inhale, stay this time. Float as you exhale the hands back down. Keep the knees bent. I want you to pop the heels up. So now you're just balancing on the balls of your feet. It's gonna be really hard to balance. Tailbone still dropping down. Head is lifting to keep you nice and tall through that spine. Heels are lifting. So if I turn to the side, you'll see I'm just on the balls of my feet. I'm still lengthening the tailbone down. And if it's tricky to balance, then you're doing it perfectly. Okay, so from here, Imagine you're about to take off a shirt. So cross your arms in front of you. You're about to take your shirt off. As you do so, you're gonna to start to rise and straighten the legs. And then as you lower the arms down, you're gonna lower the heels down, keeping the legs completely straight all the way down. So let's try that again. Bend your knees, cross the arms in front of the body. Lift the heels. Check out that balance. Take the shirt off as you straighten the legs up. Whoa and then float the heels down, okay? Let's use an inhale here as we rise all the way up. Exhale, float the heels, resist by lifting the spine nice and tall, and inhale up. Exhale, keep resisting as you come all the way down. One more of these, inhale to come up. And then exhale, floating down. Beautiful. Take the legs a little wider now. So they're probably just beyond the shoulder width. And we want to rotate the feet about 45 degrees. Try not to turn them out completely out to the side because you might do some damage to your knees and ankles if you try and work outside of your hip range. So I'm going to suggest about 45 degrees with the toes. Now from here, same idea. Let's just drop the tailbone bending down. In this wider, what we call second position, you might find that you can come a little lower because with keeping your tailbone down. So we still, same thing, we don't want the buttocks sticking out. We wanna keep them dropping down. So if I turn to the side and just stay in your nice deep second position here, keep that tailbone lengthening down. We wanna avoid this. Beautiful. Now, before we move anywhere else, and I know you're feeling it, just check that you can see your big toes. If your knees are so far forward that you can't see your big toes in front of your knees, then you need to think of rotating those legs backwards behind you. So I want to be able to see my big toe in front of my knees. Beautiful. Let's start to straighten the legs back up. Just take a few moments. Great. So same idea as when we were in the parallel position. You're going to use the inhale to float the arms. Exhale, press the earth away as you come all the way back up. Good, inhale, float the arms out. Exhale, push the mat away. Good, inhale out to the side. Push the floor away as you lengthen through the crown of the head. Last one, inhale, keep the length of the crown. Push the floor away, exhale. Great, take your plie now, so come down into that bend. Cross the arms, same idea. Lift the heels up. Sometimes this can be even harder here. So lifting those heels nice and high. Then as you bring the arms up, you're gonna work the legs towards straight. And then keeping the legs straight, spine really tall, slowly resist and lower the heels down. So we don't wanna just plonk them down. 
We want to really resist back down to the ground. That's going to work every muscle in the legs. Beautiful. So inhale down, pop the heels, lift all the way up to straight legs. Exhale, float the heels and the hands down. Good. Inhale, bend, pop the heels. Exhale down. Doesn't matter if you wobble all over the place. Inhale. Keep thinking up and down. Out and in. We want to think all the oppositions to help us. One last one. Inhale down. Pop the heels lifting up. Exhale, coming all the way down. Beautiful. Heel toe, however you'd like. Back in to that parallel position. We'll call it parallel second. Beautiful. So from here, let's inhale the arms up overhead. Contract again all the way down to the floor. This time we're going to walk out to a high plank. Okay, so if you find that this is just too intense, drop the knees down and make one long line from the crown of your head to your knees. Otherwise, you've got crown of the head to the heels. We're only going to hold for a few breaths here. I want you to think of pushing the mat away with your hands or the earth away with your hands lifting the back of the chest to the sky and then in opposition at the front we want the chest leading forward the heels reaching back good now bend the knees walk the hands all the way back to your feet bend the knees roll vertebra by vertebra inhale reach the arms up overhead and we're going to go again exhale contract down bend the knees come all the way down inhale come out to a plank just one breath here reach forward and back exhale walking all the way back inhale coming all the way up to standing exhale contract down walk your hands out use your inhale reach the chest forward exhale coming all the way back inhale vertebra by vertebra reach towards the stars exhale contract down last one here really breathe and reach forward and then drop the knees gently back feel the hips come back I'm gonna take a child's pose you can choose to have either the knees together or the knees out wide if that's better for you wherever you are just taking a few breaths here relaxing the forehead down towards the ground or even popping a fist or two underneath the forehead just so your head can relax Take a few breaths into the lower back. So you're broadening and expanding some space there. And if you do have your hands reaching forward, you want to think in opposition here that your fingers are trying to walk away from your hips, but your hips are trying to draw backwards. So you've got this lovely long stretch from the hips all the way to the fingertips. If your hands are not already forward, bring them forward now and just take them about shoulder width apart. If you have a mat, that's probably about the edge of the mat. So your fingertips, your little fingy, little fingers are on the edge of the mat. If you don't have a mat like me, just kind of go a little bit wider than your shoulders. From here, tuck your toes under, lift your hips high to the sky, and we're going to take a down facing dog. So start off with bent knees, pedal out the feet, do whatever you need to do to make this comfortable. What we want to be doing, and I'll just move to the side for you, is creating a V shape with our body. So we don't want to be really far forward, it's not a plank. We want to be working an equal amount of stretch and strength here. So you can bend the knees as much as you need. The heels might be lifted, they might be down. Completely different for every person. But just take a few moments to do whatever feels good for you here. And then see if you can find some stillness. We want to have this opposition of pushing the hands into the floor. So pushing the floor away. But then also allowing our chest to reach down towards the floor. And then same with the legs, we want to lift the hips high to the sky, but the heels want to come slowly and lower down towards the earth. Good. So it doesn't matter which way you face, I'm going to stay facing this way just for this little series so you can have a look. I'm going to use the next inhale, lift your heels super, super high. Keep that V shape, but lift the heels high. Then on your exhale, bend the knees, just hover them off the mat. 
Use your next inhale to lift the hips high, keep the heels high, and then exhale, slowly lower the heels down towards the mat. Another one like this. Inhale, lifting high. Exhale, bend the knees, hover the knees just off the mat. Inhale, lift the heels high. Exhale, slowly lower the heels. Inhale, lift. Keep pressing the floor away with the hands. Inhale, lift again. Exhale, lower the heels. Beautiful. Now I'm just going to come back to the front now. So you can see this next variation. Exact same idea. You can use the inhale to lift the heels. And then on the exhale, we're going to twist the feet to face the right. So the knees and the feet are facing right. We're going to hover all the way just off the mat. And then use your inhale to lift up, square off the hips. Exhale, lower the feet down. Let's try it to the left side now. So inhale, lift the heels nice and high. Exhale, twist your feet and knees to the left side. Inhale, lift up. All the while I keep pressing the mat away with my hands, lifting the hips high. Inhale. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, lowering the heels down. If you need to rest, just drop down into that child's pose. Exhaling to the left. Inhale up, floating the heels down. Last little variation, just drop down to the knees if you need a little rest. Otherwise, final variation here. Inhale, lift the hips. Exhale, twist to the side. Now my left leg is in front. So top, touch the front leg for you. So it doesn't matter if it's not the left. If you've gone the other way, it's completely fine. Front leg, one closest to your hands. Take it and draw a little line out to the side. Then bring it back in. Use your next inhale, lift the hips high. Exhale, floating down. Inhale, lift the hips high. Bend the knees down your exhale, twist to the side. Take the right foot or the front foot out to the side now, either both hands down and you might even lift one up, come back. So we're gonna do this twice more each side. So use your inhale up, exhale, twist to the side. Front leg, inhale, draw a line to the side. Exhale, hug it back in. Lift the hips on your inhale. Exhale down. Left side, inhale up. Exhale, twist. Take the front leg as you inhale, draw a line. Exhale, back in. Lift the hips high on the inhale. Exhale, down. One more each side. You've got to inhale up. Exhale, bend the knees. Uh, inhale, I should say. Exhale, lift the hips high. Inhale. Exhale, heels down. Lifting the heels high, last one. Inhale up, exhale, twist to the side. Take that front foot and inhale. Exhale, back to the center. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, float the heels down. And I know this will come as a nice relief. Drop the knees down, either hands behind you, head down, or hands forward, or alternatively, hands underneath the head. Take a few breaths. That was quite intense on the arms, quite intense on the legs. Beautiful. A few breaths here. And then as you are ready, stretching the arms back out in front of you. Tuck your toes under, lift the hips high, down facing dog just for a second here. Step your right foot forward. Drop the knee down to the earth. Beautiful, so we're in this low lunge. So I'm gonna keep facing you. Just make sure before we move anywhere that your right knee is stacked directly over your right ankle, okay? We wanna avoid having that knee too far forward. So if I do this on the side for you, the angle is the knee directly stacked on top of the ankle. We wanna avoid this because that can do some damage or um, put some pressure on the knee joints. So, from here, we're gonna use our next inhale. Fingertips just connecting to the ground. Inhale, reach the chest forward. And then in opposition to this, exhale, draw your hips back, 
flex your toes. Now just pause here for a few breaths. You might straighten your leg here, but depending on your flexibility, just listen to your body. You might need to put quite a significant bend in there. Okay, what we wanna do as we're here is draw that right hip back so we're squaring the hips off to the front. Great, now place the foot back down, come back into your low lunge, walk the fingertips forward, reach the heart space. This will be our inhale, we're gonna flow it now. Exhale, flex, draw the hip back. Inhale, flowing forward, reach the heart space forward. Exhale, draw the hip back. One more like this, inhale forward. Exhale back. Next one, inhale forward. Tuck the toes of your back leg. Press your fingertips into the ground and lift that back knee off. Now you need to have energy pressing out through that back heel. You need to think about hugging both legs towards each other and then pressing the feet into the earth as you reach up. Press down to come up. Hands are up. Anjaneyasana, crescent lunge. Beautiful. If it's too intense, just bring that back leg in a little bit. Otherwise, go for your depth here. Beautiful. From here, we're gonna take all the weight into our front leg. Bend, 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 until you can just float that back leg off. Now you can see, I'm just gonna come back a little bit. You can see that I'm pretty upright here. If I turn to the side, I'm keeping this about 45 degrees. If you want, you can challenge yourself and go a little bit further into what we call a warrior three. But for now, keeping upright, I'm gonna stay facing this way. I've got both hips facing forward here. So my left foot is pressing down and looking down towards the ground. Here I wanna have energy out through that back heel as I reach my fingertips up and away. So I've got this lovely opposition that's gonna help me balance because then we're gonna take this a little bit further. We're gonna twist to the side. So my right foot, my standing foot stays exactly where it is. I just turn towards the side. So now my toes are facing the side. My body is facing the side. My bottom hand is gonna go under, maybe touch the belly button and then reach back up. Then I'm gonna twist back to the front. So here, let's just try it with breath. We've got inhale, reaching in opposition from heel to fingertips. Exhale, twist to the side. Doesn't matter if you're wobbling all over the place. Inhale, whoops, like me. Inhale, tap the belly with the bottom arm. Exhale, reach. Inhale, and then exhale, bend your knee, take all the way back to that high lunge. Float the arms down, and then press back to down facing dog. Good, let's step the left foot forward now. Beautiful, so I'm gonna come back to the front again. We've got the right knee down, left knee stacking directly above that left ankle, fingertips on the ground. Use an inhale, broaden the chest forward, and then exhale, draw that left hip back. Let's just pause for a few breaths here. So if you need to, big bend in the knees, or if you're there, maybe you start to straighten that leg. Either way, drawing that left hip back to try and square off the hips. Good, let's walk the fingertips forward. Inhale, heart space forward. Exhale, pressing back. Inhale to come forward. Exhale, all the way back. Last one forward. Reach the heart space. Exhale, draw the hips back. Come all the way forward. Let's tuck the toes of that back leg off. So now I've got energy kicking out through that back heel. I'm squeezing my inner thighs together. I'm gonna push both my feet down to bring my arms up. That's it, good. So we're in this lovely long lunge. Take all the weight forward. Float the right heel off. Doesn't matter how much you wobble here. Great, I'm just gonna face the side, but you can stay exactly where you are. So let's just feel this left side now. Left foot is grounding down. I'm lifting up through my hips. My right foot is facing down. I've got energy kicking out through that back heel. My fingertips are reaching forward and up. Beautiful. From here, let's twist to the side. So don't change that left foot. Just now face your toes and your body to the side. Bottom arm now. 
It's going to go down, tap the belly, reach up. Float back to the front. I know you're feeling your legs because I know I'm feeling mine. Let's flow at once. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. Inhale, tap the belly. Exhale, reach and lengthen long. Inhale. Exhale, take the legs down. Release the arms down and press back to your down facing dog. Good. Now I'm just going to turn back to you again. I'm all over the place here. Take your right leg forward, back into that lunge, drop the knee down. Now left leg is going to tuck in behind the right foot. And I'm going to sit down. I'm going to take a little twist. So first off, just make sure that your right foot is the one that's on top. If not, just have a little switch over. We want to think of grounding both sit bones down into the floor. Then as we're grounding those down, we then want to think up through the crown of the head. Let's start with a simple twist to begin with. So left hand behind, right hand reaches to the sky. Should be same arm as top leg. Elbow comes in, use your inhale to lift you up. Exhale, twist the spine towards the back. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, twist the spine to the back. One more breath like this. Keep lifting as you inhale and then twist, draw the belly in as you exhale. Inhale, back to the center. Release the right hand down. Reach the left arm now. High to the sky. Now it's going to hook onto this right knee. If this feels too intense for you, we're going to repeat the same side we just did. Otherwise, if it's feeling okay, we're going to go for a little bit deeper now. So inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. Look over the right shoulder. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist over the right shoulder. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist over to the right shoulder. Inhale up. Releasing back to the front. Now we're going to put a little transition in here. I want your right hand to tap your right knee. Okay? These two limbs are going to basically do the same movement. They're going to move forward, out to the side, and around behind you. At the same time, your left arm is going to reach forward until you feel that shoulder come down to the ground. Then you're basically lying down. So I've got my head leaning on my left arm. Now my knees are going to come and hug together. I'm going to roll all the way over. Come over to my knees. Tuck my toes. Roll vertebra by vertebra all the way up to standing. Okay? So don't worry if you didn't get there this first time. I'm going to come back and try again. So come back to your twist. We've got that right foot on top of the left leg. Right arm and right leg, you're gonna circle back. At the same time, my left arm's gonna reach forward like it's offering something until I get my shoulder down on the ground. I roll onto my back, hug my knees together, keep rolling over until I find myself onto my knees and hands. Tuck the toes under, roll vertebra by vertebra all the way up to standing. Let's try it one more time just to see if we can get a little bit faster now. So, right foot on top, lifting nice and tall. Take the right arm, right leg back. Scoop the left arm forward, roll onto the back, roll over. Come all the way onto hands and knees, tuck the toes under, roll all the way up to standing. Don't stress if you didn't get it. You can always pause and have a few more plays with that. We're gonna come back to it at the end anyways. Okay. Let's just take our feet hip width distance apart and we'll go into the left side. So inhale the arms up, contract all the way down and just walk your hands out. Let's make a down facing dog. Take the left foot forward, drop the right knee. Now tuck the right knee underneath the left and we'll take the twist on the left side now. Beautiful. So let's just get our basics here. Both sit bones, we want to ground them down into the floor. And then at the same time, we want to lift the crown of the head all the way up towards the sky. Beautiful. For our first twist, we're going to start off nice and gentle. Inhale the left arm up, same arm as leg. 
elbow to knee as you exhale. Use your next inhale, lengthen up to the spine. Exhale, twist to the back. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. Good. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. Last inhale to come back to center and release the arm down. Either repeating the same side or if you want to go a bit deeper, inhale the right arm up. Exhale, opposite elbow to knee. Use your next inhale to lengthen the spine. Keep grounding down. Exhale, draw the belly in. Inhale, lift. Exhale, twist in a little more. Last one, inhaling up. Exhale, twist. Inhale, back to center. Release. Let's practice a transition on this side. So left hand, tap your left knee. You guys are going to do the exact same thing. So left arm, left leg, go behind you. At the same time, I'm going to scoop my right arm down now. And now my head's resting on my right arm. From there, I want to roll onto my back, hug my knees in, roll all the way over. Take my hands and knees down, tuck the toes under, roll vertebra by vertebra, all the way up to standing. Let's give it another go. Okay, so left leg on top of the right. Left arm, left leg do the same thing. They're gonna circle back. My right arm scoops forward. I place my head down. I roll onto my back, hug my knees in. Roll over, hands underneath shoulders. Tuck the toes, roll vertebra by vertebra all the way up to standing. Good. Let's go one more time together. Remember, you can always pause this and try it a few times. Especially if you're very new to this. It can be a little confusing. Okay, same arm as leg. They go and wrap around behind. They're behind me now. I take my right arm forward, drop it down, hug my knees into my chest, roll around, hands underneath, roll vertebra by vertebra, all the way up to standing. Beautiful. Okay. If you have your mat with you, you probably noticed you've rolled off it by now. But we're going to now come into the part of the class where we sequence this all together and it becomes a little bit more like a dance, okay? You can add your own expression to it. You don't have to stick exactly how I do it. So give yourself a moment to shake anything out, pop your mat away, pause, come back. I'm going to start here. Okay. So now we're going to go through the sequence a few times. We're just going to do one repetition of everything we've done today. If you're thinking, oh my gosh, we've done so much today, I have no idea. Don't worry, I'm going to go with you. We're going to do it a few times together. And then the last time, I'll leave you with some music. I'm going to do it my way. You can either choose to follow me or you can choose to expressive and expressively dance it your, the way you want to do it, okay? So, feet directly underneath the hips. Let's inhale, lift the hands up. Exhale, hug all the way down. Fingertips touch the ground, halfway lift as you inhale. Exhale, soften down, roll back up. Inhale, all the way up. And then let's just exhale the arms down. We're gonna do those plies. Inhale and exhale. Another one like that. Inhale, simple. Exhale, now we take off our shirt. Inhale, pop the heels, rise up. Exhale, float the heels down, beautiful. However you like, take your way out to that wide second, so 45 degrees. We use an inhale to go down. Exhale, push the mat away. Inhale, lifting the spine. Exhale, push the mat away. Now we take the shirt off. Inhale down, pop the heels, lift up, float the hands and the heels down. Same thing to come all the way back to that parallel second, however you like. Inhale up, we're going to go to the plank series now. Exhale all the way down, walk your hands, reach your heart space forward, heels back, bend the knees, find your child's pose as you exhale. Next inhale, take your up facing dog, I mean uh, down facing dog. Lift the hips nice and high, good. Use your next inhale, lift the heels up. Exhale, hover the knees off the mat. Inhale, lift the hips high. Exhale, soften the heels down. Now to the right side, inhale, lift the hips high. 
Exhale, take the knees and the feet to the right. Inhale, draw that line with the left foot. Exhale, back. Use the next inhale, lift the hips high. And exhale, float the heels down. We're just gonna do the right side. So step the right foot forward down. Left knee drops back. Use an inhale, reach the heart space forward. Exhale, flex the foot, draw the hips back. Good, inhale, tuck the toes this time. Lift all the way up to Anjaneyasana, that crescent lunge. From here, inhale, float the back foot off. We're at that 45 degrees. Good, exhale, float to the side. Inhale, tap the underarm to the belly. Exhale, float it up. Inhale, twist back to the front. Exhale, float the arms down, find your high lunge. Then inhale, drop the knee in behind the foot. Exhale, ready for our transition. Right arm, right leg, wrap around behind. Left arm forward and down, roll over the back. Roll and tuck the toes. Inhale to come all the way up, lift the arms up. And then exhale, float the arms down. Beautiful, I'm gonna come back to center and we're gonna go straight into the left side. Inhale, breathe the arms up. Contract the belly, back of the hands down. Halfway lift, inhale, lift the chest forward. Exhale, bend the knees again, roll all the way up. Inhaling up. And then exhale, just float the arms down into those plies. So we bend the knees as we inhale. Exhale, push the mat away nice and high. Inhale, think up and down at the same time. Exhale, taking the shirt off. Inhale, pop the heels lifting up high. Exhale, floating down. Then however you like, find your way to that wide second position in 45 degrees. Inhale down, exhale, push the mat away. So we're thinking up as we go down, up as we, down as we go up. Good, take the shirt off, inhale, pop the heels, lift up, float down, and then all the way back in to your second parallel. Good, inhale up, coming down to a plank, exhale down, Walk the hands forward, feel the heels pressing back, and then drop down to child's pose as you exhale. Lift the hips high, inhale up. Exhale to stay, good. Lifting up, inhale the heels high. Exhale, hover the knees down. Inhale, lift the hips high. Exhale, float. Now we're gonna go the left side this time. So inhale up. Twist the feet and the knees as you exhale to the left. Draw that line with the foot, inhaling. Exhale, draw it back in. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, down. Step the left foot forward, drop the right knee. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, draw that hip back. Inhale, coming back, tuck the toes. Exhale, stay and then Inhale to float you up. Exhale, floating forward 45 degrees. Good. Inhale to the side. Exhale under. Whoop, keep your balance. Inhale, keep reaching in opposition. Exhale, floating back to the front. Inhale back. And then exhale as you take the hands down. Tuck the right knee underneath. Find your seat, final bit. Left arm, left leg. Reaching out behind you, take the right hand forward, roll onto the back, rolling over, roll vertebra by vertebra, all the way up to standing. Great. Okay, we're gonna go one more time, right and left together. Then for the very end, I'm gonna leave you to do your own version of it, okay? So that means you might fasten it up, you might decide you wanna just do three movements in one breath rather than just one movement per breath. Maybe you wanna slow it right down. Whatever you do is right, there's absolutely no wrong here. Okay, one more time together, then it's your turn. Okay, inhale, breathing up. Exhale, contract, hands touch the floor. Inhale, halfway lift. 
exhale, roll back down. Use your breath to bring you up. Inhaling up and floating the arms down as you exhale straight into the bends. Plie, inhale, exhale. Good, do whatever you want with your arms. Inhale, exhale, taking the shirt off. Inhale, pop the heels, lifting up. Exhale, float down. Find your transition to that wide second two. Inhale down. Exhale all the way back up. And inhale down. Exhale all the way up. Taking the top off. Inhale, lifting up. Floating down. Finding your way in. Back to that parallel second. Breathe all the way up, inhale. Contracting all the way down, walking to a plank. Inhale the heart space forward, drop the hips back, child's pose. Lift on the inhale, down facing dog, stay for the exhale. Lift the heels high, inhale. Exhale, hover the knees. Lift the hips high, inhale. Exhale, lower the heels. Lift the hips high, inhale. Twisting to the right as you exhale. Maybe floating the top arm here as you draw out, inhale. Exhale, back. Lift the hips high, inhale, up. Exhale, floating down. Good, step the right foot forward. Drop the left knee, inhale, forward with the chest. Exhale, back, draw the heel to the nose. Inhale, forward, tuck the toes. Exhale to come all the way up. Inhale, floating forward, find your 45 degrees. Exhale, twist to the side. Inhale, reach and tap the right arm under. Exhale up. Inhale to the front. Exhale, find your low lunge, hands down. Now tuck that left knee in. Same arm as leg, down and around, rolling all the way up to standing. Use your inhale to breathe the arms up, floating down. And then however you are, find your way back to centre. Start the left side, breathing in, contracting down as you exhale. Inhale, halfway lift, rolling back down as you exhale. And then float the arms down, exhale, bending here. Inhale as you reach, exhale. Thinking up as you go down, and down as you come up, taking the shirt off. Inhale, lift the heels, float the arms down as you exhale. Find your own transition to that wide second. Here we go, inhale, nice and wide. No right or wrong, you might want to muscle up these arms, whatever you want to do. Taking the shirt off now, inhale, take the heels up. And pull it down as you exhale. Own movement to come all the way back in. Two, second parallel. Here we go. Breathing in, all the way up to come down. Exhaling down, walking out to the plank. Reach the heart, face forward, drop the knees down. Pressing back. Next inhale, find your down facing dog. Exhale, stay. Lift the heels to inhale. Exhale, bend the knees. Keep pressing the mat away. Inhale, lift the hips high. Then pull back down to the earth. Now twist the go back. Inhale up. Twisting as you exhale down. Take the front foot forward and float the left arm high. Inhaling and then toes under. Exhale to come up. Inhale, find your balance. Exhale, twist to the side. Inhale, left arm touching the belly. 
Exhale, reaching through the fingertips. Inhale, back to the center. Exhale, circle the arms back and down. Right knee tucks underneath the left. Left arm, left leg, go back. Two forward, roll around. Come in, rolling vertebra. Back all the way to stand, inhaling up. Exhaling out, find the So, we've gone through it a few times. I don't expect you to remember everything, okay? But this is your time now to just be as expressive as you can. You can take your time. If you get lost, you can to the camera. I'm going to be doing it, but I'm going to be doing it different each time. Just kind of working in the way I want. Okay, so you can come back to this at any time. You can practice this a few times. You really know the sequence. And the other thing I'm going to say at the end of it, and in those moments where I've said free, if you're one of those people who finds it really hard to just free boogie, then your inspiration for the movement is opposition. So if you take your right hand out to the side, then the left hand has to happen too because it's opposition. Um, if you go high, then you have to go low on the next movement just to go in opposition. And that might actually help you take uh, the pressure off yourself and worrying about what you look like and just thinking right then left, up and then down, out and down, however you want, okay? So, getting ready. I'm not going to say a word through this. If you need me, just look forward, I'm there. If not, there is no right or wrong. Here we go.
your hands up and overhead as you inhale and contract down nothing fancy find your way down to a seat we're going to take a bit of a glute stretch and a bit of a cool down a few twists things like that so find yourself either in a cross-legged seat one leg on top of the other with the foot flexed or if you're quite flexible you might even want to stack the two knees on top of each other okay targeting the outer hips and the glutes so if by sitting up straight and tall you're already feeling quite a bit of sensation stay with that if you need a bit of extra sensation then start to walk the hands forward you can always place a fist on top of the other a block some pillows whatever uh, feels best for you but sending the breath down and into the outer hip for the next few breaths And then slowly walk the hands back up. You're going to switch the legs over. So whichever variation you had, just make sure you've got the opposite leg on top now. And then if you are staying upright, stay up. Otherwise, walk your hands forward. Find your forward fold. See if you can relax the upper body, head and neck. And slowly walk the hands back up. Find yourself in a three corner sit, or so I like to call it. Um, so you've got one leg in front and the other folded in behind. And we're going to target the hip flexors and the quads. They worked quite hard for us today. So first option is to just press that back hip forward. If you're really tight, that might be enough sensation for you. If not, there's an option to bring the elbows down. And if there is no discomfort in the actual knee joints, because we don't want to feel any pain in the knee joints, we just want to feel the stretch either in the quads or the hip flexors. Then the other option is to extend all the way back and down okay but constantly if you are in this lower variation constantly think of tucking the tailbone to the front of the room yeah. and sending the breath to wherever you feel the most sensation And wherever you are, just using your hands to support you to come all the way up to seated. Switch the legs around, so whichever leg you have in front. Beautiful, slowly walking back. Finding your edge. And only going down if it's comfortable for the knees. If you feel any discomfort in that front knee joint in particular, back off a little bit. Okay, we only want to feel the sensation in the front of the leg. hands to gently bring you back up to see it and bring that leg around in front so now bring both feet in front of you take your right hand to the sky tap it under the right leg and tap tap the left ankle bring that left ankle to underneath the buttock there and then cross the right leg over if you feel any discomfort in this front knee straighten it out there 
Otherwise, you can keep it tucked. Any issues going on with the lower back, keep it really gentle and open. So same elbow as knee. Otherwise, opposite elbow to knee, hook it in there. And then we're gonna use the breath work of inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist. A few more breaths like this, grounding the sit bones down. Inhale to lengthen, exhale to twist. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. Lengthen, inhale. Exhale, twist. And then looking back to the center, release. Take a little counterbalance the opposite way for a second. And then switch the legs over. Good, so gentle, same elbow to knee. Little bit stronger opposite elbow to knee once you've got the hips grounded down use your inhale to lengthen up exhale to twist back inhale lengthen up exhale twist back good a few more breaths like that Last little bit, find your dandasana, so feet flexed, spine nice and tall, use your next inhale, reach the hand up, float the hands forward, exhale forward, fold, roll back as you inhale, lift up, a few flows before we hold, exhale to come forward, last one like this, inhale up, exhale, find your edge, Maybe holding onto the feet, maybe it's holding onto the knees, thighs, toes, whatever you can. And on each breath, use the inhale to lift and reach forward. And then exhale to soften back down. A few more like that. Inhale, lift up. Exhale to come down. Inhale up. And then just staying for a few more breaths. Either flexing the feet or just allowing them to be really passively relaxed. And then slowly rolling all the way up to seated and find your way into Shavasana. We're gonna finish with a few moments in Shavasana. So lie yourself down, whichever way you want. And drop the feet out to the side, palms up and open. Closing down the eyes and just allowing everything that happened in our practice today to integrate into the body. Take this time for you. There's nothing you need to do. Just allow yourself to exist. Be here for the next few moments. If you feel any discomfort in the lower back, feel free to bend the knees up. That will often take some of the pressure out. starting to bring some movement back into the fingers and toes. Reach the hands up overhead, flex the feet away from you. 
hug the knees into the chest and then roll over to your right side. Allow yourself to just be here for a few moments. And then push the earth away. Find your way into a comfortable seat. Take a few moments to thank yourself for practicing today, for connecting your body, mind and breath, for flowing and for being oppositely strong and soft all at the same time. And hopefully you can take the balance that you found in the oppositions of highs and lows and narrows and wides into your daily life. You can feel a little bit more balanced. Thanks so much. Have a great day.